Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, how's it going? We are going to be taking a look at my good buddy right here next to me, a redstone torch key today. Um, so this was actually something that I did not know how to make yesterday. I just heard of it. And uh, after a little bit of thinking, I was like, wait, you can't power the block that way. Oh, and then I got a blast, a blast from Minecraft past. And I realized that what we were looking at is a bud switch. And how this is going to work. Oh, no. We're safe. Um, so, yeah, how this uh, how this works is let me just get out of here redstone is that it uses block update detection and uh, it was quite a trip actually to go back and do stuff like this um, because I haven't done bud switches um, probably since the redstone update which was like 1.7 1.8 1.9 something like that um, so a very 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 long time ago and uh, it was real strange to be able to use observers to make a bud switch as well um, because observers were kind of the death of a bud switch because observers do exactly that they take a look at a block and they detect when it's been updated so when you play something down in front of it it flickers because the block has detected the update which is what uh, BUD stands for block update detector um, so this is just a design that I threw together I think it's version 3 I guess um, yeah and I'm just gonna show you how to build this really quickly um, it's super duper easy to make um, and it's pretty cool so just to give you a demo again um, come down here and it can be totally hidden and then you place down a torch and place down a torch again to update it. I'm pretty sure dust will work as well because how it works is when you place down a block, right? So if I place a block here, nothing happens. And that's because when you place a block, it doesn't update anything around it. But when you place a redstone component on don't quote me on this, I'm, I'm pretty sure that it's right. When you place a redstone component, it checks the blocks next to it as well. So if I press this, it realizes that the piston is no longer powered. And it is powered now, but it's already moved. So when I place it again, oh, but I can't place it just there, it will update. And then we unpower it, and so on and so forth. Um, so to build this, it's super duper easy. Uh, you can use the ingredients that you see in the bar at the bottom here. And basically what we're going to do is just uh, place this here to extend this. This is just to kind of prime the piston. Um, make sure you have the observer sticking out this way. Then put a block, any block at all. I'm just using mud because I had it on my bar already. And uh, this is where your redstone is actually going to go and uh, then place this here and I've been activating it with this um, and now you'll see the piston is powered but hasn't been updated yet and the uh, if I update this now it'll send a signal to here which will retract it and stop it from being powered so if I do this now so now the piston is powered well it's extended but it's not powered so when I update it it'll retract then that reverses and when you place it on the side here again and this is exactly what we have here and that's why this retracts when you do this and then extends again when you do this so uh, yeah here is a side-by-side -side shot so you can see it you don't actually need the button but if something falls out of sync if somebody triggers it two times or something like that and it triggers too quickly you can use this to uh, bring it back into the correct flow of things um, and yeah if you have any questions please let me know